Hi, this is Dietrich Schmitz from Linux Advocates. Today I'm going to show you a screencast utility by the name of VocoScreen. Here it is on screen, I've just brought it up. Version 2.0. It's the screencast utility of my choice only because I find it easiest to use. I've spent several days reviewing screencast utilities for Linux and aside from probably record my desktop and screencast-o-matic vocal screen is the easiest to use and um, that's why I use it. So uh, there are a few things you should know about it. Uh, how to install. The last tab gives you a link to the home page which I have open and on the home page there is an option for downloading vocal screen. There are package formats for Debian, OpenSUSE, and Ubuntu. I've discovered that the OpenSUSE package, which is RPM, is compatible with Fedora, which is good. So essentially I downloaded the RPM and from a terminal typed sudo yum local install vocal screen and that was it uh, that's all you need to do to install to Fedora and I'm going to guess that this package is probably going to work for other Fedora derivatives in addition to OpenSUSE. Okay, so going back to Vocal Screen to take a look at it. On the first tab for your display, you have the option of running it in full screen, which is what I'm running now a windowed area where you size it to your purpose. Um, a window actually is a predefined window or you can set it to an area of the screen. Magnification is a feature that if you use it you can turn it on so that it's your cursor is always going to magnify or you can use control shift F9 to turn it on and turn it off at will control shift F9 and there it is control shift F9 turns it off uh, webcam uh, if you want to turn on your webcam, put a checkbox there. That's me. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the mic tab. Audio. You have options of using pulse audio or a direct hardware driver. In my case, I'm using Alsa. Seems to work okay. In either case, you should be fine. On the Movie Reel tab, the defaults are fine. The only thing I changed was the format for the output, uh, AVI. Now, with other products, you'll find some of them will have an intermediate format that they create, and then you have to take a separate step to do encoding. You don't have to do that with Vocal Screen. It goes directly to encoding the output format, which is good. Saves a lot of time. You can spend 
double the time that you spend creating a video just doing the encoding step with some of the products so this is nice because there is no other steps to take after you have finished recording your video uh, let's see do not record the mouse cursor the tool tab defines where the output is going to be sent when you're creating a video the player is the name of the video player optionally if you want to uh, play the output in my case I set it up to use VLC vocal screen minimized when recording starts I have checked show in system tray is shown here it's in the system tray running um, and the last tab that's it this is a, a remarkable program it's easy to use and I recommend it for everybody I think that's it. Thank you and have a good day.